Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Happy Slay the Princess Day. Uh, it is Friday, right? I'm I'm here on a stream day. Is that correct? That is correct. Very nice. <laughs> I had to check. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine me coming in on a non-stream day and, and and thinking it's a stream day? Yeah, that that would be me. Hey, Jules. Good morning. So yeah, we are gonna be playing the Stabby Stab route. Uh, part 2. If you haven't seen part 1, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Honestly. Uh, I posted it like everywhere, so if you haven't watched it by then, it's your fault now. There you go. Let's move on. I'm talking about the end of everything as we... We're gonna skip Don't. through stuff that we already heard about, obviously. Look, you're already on... Just wow, making sure we exhaust the all the dialogues. Does it? Oh, if only that were the case. Are you serious? Of course I haven't. Yes. Oh, almost there. It's I hope this is the right save. Uh, this is the latest save I had, so... Hmm, yeah. Alright, I'm sold. Let's get this over with. Good. As long as you remain focused on your goal, it should all be smooth sailing. Like, it is the, my latest save, so I'm assuming I saved after the YouTube video. If I didn't, uh, that's gonna be sad. You make your way up the <laughs> short. Can you imagine? That, that would be really sad. If I just did not save. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale. Okay, hold on. L l l <laughs> now, now I'm getting paranoid. Uh, March 15th. Oh, those are all the same autosaves from now. Great. So, if there has been autosaves, it's not a thing. Cool. Yeah, February 13th. 15. Yeah, this should be fine. We take the blade because the blade this is the, the stabby route. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Indeed. Enter the basement. Let's see. The door to the basement. I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Eh, yeah, surprise to Schmeiss. It's you fine. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. You step forward. Your grip on the blade. Okay, we already had all the. Uh, we're gonna slay the princess. Actually, we're gonna. Uh, I'm positive. Explore the stuff. Slay the princess. You charge the princess, blade in hand. But unfortunately, your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Okay, we had this one before. Okay, we finished the job. With the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Okay, and we're back here. Nice. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Okay, the good thing is the skip button is grayed out, which means this is no dialogue. Let's go. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Lies. It hasn't. Or, if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. Like I said, we've just met for the first time, you and I. Okay, let's assume I'm telling Those the truth. very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. We did exactly what you said. Sounds to me like you probably had some kind of elab- Hmm, okay. Just be quick about it. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't I'm pretty sure her, we had all that dialogue her, already. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. Yeah, you do that, Jules. Best of luck. You, no, you should be able to, actually. You're at it. You should be. By the way, um, I changed uh, some settings in OBS. Also, if something looks shitty, please let me know. I changed some streaming stuff around. She just can. But she's still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long as you remember that. Okay, nice. 
I mean, it would it would be more interesting to see on Borderlands Day, I think. People locked but, yeah. in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate I'm pretty sure we had all of that already. Why is it Look, not letting me skip this? I'm not supposed to say this, but... Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. If anyone's special here, it's her. That was a nasty trick she pulled on us. I'm so confused. I told you everything you need to know. <laughs> Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You didn't tell us about her knife last time, though. That's because she's unarmed. And more than that, it's because there wasn't a last time. Mm-hmm. That's all. Right. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay, proceed into the cavern. Again, we're gonna stab her oh, all boy. the time. Before you go any further. What up? She will lie, she will cheat, and she, will, she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. It couldn't be more on the money, but we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Okay. Proceed into the cabin. We're gonna keep stabbing her and see what happens. As usual. The interior oh. of the cabin is a jagged That's mess new. of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a there's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. <laughs> I I really love the voice of the cheated. The voice of the cheated is one of my favorite personalities, I guess. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. You know what? This could very well be our handsome Jack arc here at Slay the Princess. It could just be the dicks. I care less about that and more know. about whether we're being lied to. <clears throat> if he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes, there is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I like the voice of the cheated, it's so funny, yeah. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Have we aban abandoned her in the basement yet? Um, no, so far, so far the only things we did in this road were stab, 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 every time we can. So we didn't abandon, uh, abandon her in this route. We always kept on stabbing. That's what we're gonna do today too. I think. Maybe I should have uh, should have watched the, the video, open, revealing <laughs> what must once have been. Not just tell y'all to do it. The fractured slats look as if they've been <laughs> torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. Damn. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Honestly, I should have made a watch party or something on the Discord with the with the last episode. Man, that's a missed opportunity. That's right, <laughs> scraping. I told you she has something. I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. That's most certainly a new one. There is something so wrong with that voice. I cannot wait to see how she looks. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. Okay, let's see. As you descend the oh, final hey. step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! 
Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Mm-hmm. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. I mean, look at that smirk, you know? If she sounds threatening, <laughs> it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. Damn right we are. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Oh my god. I, 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 like, I, I don't know why, but I like her. Her whole appearance and like, ah, uh, I love it. You're just going to stab me, aren't you? What? No! No, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, hey, Yumi. princess trapped here for no reason. Good morning. Good day, rather. How are you up already? Are you fine? It's not 3 p.m. yet. <laughs> Get stabbed, bro. And you Always. are the brave knight who's supposed to walk up to... Not stabbing distance to help me. You're fine, nice. Love to hear it. I'm doing okay, actually. I uh, uh, actually had a really good day of sleep, night of sleep, rather. So, after yesterday's not sleep and the day before's almost no sleep, uh, that felt really good. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Nah, she's Just fine. Because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who is armed? You. So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. You know, I can't help but notice all the sharp uh, stone or wood or whatever is lying around around her, but not here. Just saying. Yeah, she is so cute, right? But I'm nervous. Too sad that we're gonna try and stab her again. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Do you remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open and then he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember that. Oh my god. This is... Oh, man. Stop it. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. Uh-huh. There you go again, talking up delusions about a past life experience that clearly didn't happen. Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. Uh-huh. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up. And we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey, you know? It's okay, that's how we show affection, yeah. With a stabbing. But never in the back. We never stab in the back. <laughs> Would I just lie? just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? Yes. I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Uh-huh. Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. Yeah, no taking backsies. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. No. No. I mean, it's just an exploration, right? And then we're gonna betray her? That sounds like us. That sounds like Handsome Jack. If you're a whole man, there's so much shit. Holy hell. Hmm... Hmm. Those are all going towards okay, we're gonna set her free at the end, so A knife? Hmm. What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? <laughs> 
And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Uh-huh. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. Oh, thank God. Prove that you don't have a knife. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. The princess smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. <laughs> do you reckon she's, she's currently uh, hiding it between her cheeks or something? Like... <laughs> so start starting to, you know, uh But look at this. Hands. Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with. <laughs> no, let's not go her there. Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves too. Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Clenched butt cheeks holding a knife. Yes. That's what I meant with that. Yeah. But what if you're just hiding it somewhere secret? I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Uh-huh. Wait, that sounds like a mine, but I'm actually not. My <sighs> secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Uh-huh. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp. And flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. Okay, fine. I'm inclined I to believe, believe you. her on that one. <laughs> she seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. I'd like to trust you, but you are being so suspicious right now. That's so rude of you, passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Silly little bird face thinks he's so serious coming down here but doesn't know anything. <laughs> thinks he can tell me to get rid of all the knives I don't even have while he gets to wave one around right in front of me. <laughs> I bet you didn't yeah. like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. I mean, there was not no reason, actually. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? I want to ex uh, I want to have all the dialogue, okay, narrator? We're Shut up. We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Oh, by the way, just, um, I, I just remembered, don't forget to put points into the Pokemon randomizer thingy. Just saying. The community goal is still a thing. Then maybe you should behave <laughs> with a little more humility. I, I, I need to make that a thing. would go a long way. No. I have my dignity. Dignity what? Diggity diggity? Fine. No? Diggity? I will continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Okay. I don't have the key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. Yeah, let, let, let's just be sure. <laughs> Thanks, Yumi and uh, Jules. I appreciate it. Oh, man. I shouldn't have put the goal to such high points, I think. This, this feel, you know, you all have so many so many points, but we all forget about it. It's so sad. Maybe, maybe the goal isn't uh, good enough for y'all. <laughs> I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. We killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. But if we killed each other, then why are we here, right now? Both of us normal and unstabbed. Yeah, I tried to look into a thing where we can do um, a channel point redemption thing for it. Like, um, like a, a echo date 
for their thing back in the day, but I had no idea. I didn't fig I wasn't able to figure that out. I wasn't able to figure out a channel point redemption to put points into the community goal. It's so bananas. 45k points, jeez Louise. Okay, I guess I, I need some some uh, higher uh, cost Steam redem uh, channel redemptions. <laughs> Damn. Look, I know you're mad at me, but I think we both just need to let bygones be bygones. Hey Azayoki, welcome, welcome in. I've uh, watched you do art the other day. It was really chill. I I enjoyed that a lot. Welcome in, mate. I hope you're well, doing I'm fine. I'm not mad at you, so please stop standing so far out of reach. Okay, I'm bored now. Oh, she's bored now. Oh no. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's shit. In a sudden burst of oh, damn. the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm. Her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. Well, that's badass. And this is another one. You know what? What about a DBDX Slay the Princess crossover? This would be a very fun killer, I feel like. The princess being a killer? That would be so cool. I would dig that. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. No, oh, no. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. Hey, Tony. Good day to you. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. Oh, no. And then she oh. slices through her arm. Yep, that was uh, one way to do it. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Ah, shit. Okay, she nah, shit. Arm and we still have a weapon. <laughs> I guess we'll have to use it. Thank you, Jules. Ugh, rude. And use it you do. But unfortunately for you and for the entire world, you are horribly outmatched. Oh, no. You keep pace with her for a single brief and wordless exchange before she severs your hand and, with it, your only line of defense. Oh no, not my hand. W why my hand? That's rude. She's even better at this than she was last time. Bloody cheater. I'm going to kill you now. Oh no. And with a squelch, she does just that. Well... I wanted to stab her, but now she killed me. That's really sad. Hey, Buzz. Good day to you. Happy Friday. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 3, The Arms Race. Oh, God. This girl is not into her hands, indeed. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're going to have to fuck keep that. doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Oh, man, this guy, I love him so much. Your what? The interior of the cabin is sharp, a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? Did we just skip through the thing? Is this like a tiny wimey thing now? I feel dizzy. Oh no. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Oh no. Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. Uh oh. We have to fight. What's the point of fighting if she's just going to win every time? It hurts being sliced to pieces. We're better off just sitting up here and doing nothing. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? Yeah, th this is a visual novel, yes. It's called Slay the Princess. It came out this year, I think, or last year. It might have been this year, though. And, uh, yeah. Your task is to slay the princess, like the title says. Um, and, yeah, you find different personalities of yourself and the princess, and... 
you are trying to, you know, there's some cosmo cosmic her horror in that too, and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to do a lot of weird shit. And it's super funny, and it's super, I love it so much. It's a wonderful game. It's it, it, it's a it's this a wonderful wonderful third? game. If you are into visual novel kind of deals, this is top notch, and it, it isn't even that expensive. I'm pretty sure it's on sale too right now. Let me check. Uh, yeah, it's like 16 bucks now, which is completely fine. You have many hours in this game. You just lay the princess. I mean, that's an option too. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this game is just A++++. Yep, indeed. It's a wonderful game. I'm really happy that we um, play it. No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? The other good thing is 90% of this game is voice acted. All the stuff is hand drawn. Like, this is really exploding in creativity the prince is only grumpy because we went down there with a knife with a knife okay listen <laughs> that can't be right that's too much responsibility i have nothing to say about that i couldn't agree more we couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person let alone the fate of the world <sighs> let's just stay focused shall we yeah stay focused damn it the only furniture of note is a bent metal table a pristine blade perched. We take it. Okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. <laughs> it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Oh my god, this it feels is... right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. Oh my god. And what if we never do? This is so cool that we actually have the power to overturn the narrator here. This is really, really fun. So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Mm. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. This keeps happening to you. Soon there's a big patch coming for this game with new routes in addition to existing routes. Really? Oh damn, how soon? I, I did not hear about that. Huh. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. They haven't given a date. I mean, makes sense. Uh, that's such a fucking mood. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry, that caught me off guard. That's such a fucking mood. Oh, man. Reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. <clears throat> and the mirror's gone. Ah, eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Me every morning? Yeah, it's me during the whole day. Really? Yes, it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. We will not be fine. Also, I kind of broke the rule number one we wanted to do in this game. Like just slaying her without, you know. But I kind of feel it's important to use the dialogue. Because we get more stuff out of it, you know. So we're not just going to slay her. That I think that would, wouldn't be that much fun for the playthrough. So, yeah. We're gonna keep going this you way. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement oh, stairs. Damn. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. 
she gives you a wry smile. Oh boy. You should have gone one without saying a word to her. Okay. I mean, uh, we, we can do that in the thing, in the, like a Discord uh, call or something in the, in the Discord. Like, if you if want to vibe on non-stream days, if you all want to join, you know, here, that's the Discord. Um, I wanted to do anything, uh, stuff anyway on my Discord, like doing some Discord-only stuff. Uh, like when I'm playing other video games and stuff, but I have not been playing a lot. Okay, sorry about that. Maybe things work again? Okay. We are dropping frames, but, you know, we are back live, I guess, so... And this is gonna be a mess. My internet is shitting itself. Yeah, we're dropping frames without end. Oh, man. Is this stream buffering for you guys, or no? Oh, this is so messed up. I have to download the VODs now. <laughs> okay, anyway. We're moving on. I forgot what I was about to say, uh, so... Yeah, let's move on. Hi! It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Hey, Lucas. Good day to you. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. Uh-huh. Fun for her, maybe. I didn't like dying all over again. Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Mm. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. There's also something wrong here. Why is it going like this? Okay, sorry, I'm still trying to figure out if I can fix my internet, but it doesn't look like it. Your internal big oh, she has two blades now. The wet sound of slicing meat. Great. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. Nice. The chain clatters to the floor. Very good. She's loose, and she is coming for you. Ah, shit. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Yes. Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. Throw the knife into her face. Hmm... I'm going to try flirting with her now. No. Mm. All of these ideas suck. Think up something better. Yeah, think of yeah, something better. That's right. We just have to think. There's probably <laughs> an answer if we think. I'm not gonna give her the look. Just standing there, huh? A bold strategy. You don't have time to finish oh your boy. thought. In a moment, she's across the room, blades flashing in the dim starlight. Well, I guess I'm dead again. She skewers you. Ow. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah. We don't even get a second to think without her stabbing us. Yeah. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I think we're dead, and that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. Yeah, the blades really are sexy. Stop yep. saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. Aww, supportive. I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. 
Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point oh where God. it makes us better than her. Oh, boy. As long as we keep moving. Oh, great. So it's going to get even more crowded. <laughs> even more deluded voices that think we might stand any kind of chance. Come on. Show me something new. Okay. Plan. Now. Okay. Mm. We're going to let her stab us and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She cannot hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. It doesn't work and she kills you again, and again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. She's going to kill this body either way, so stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad, real tough. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. She skewers you. You'll have to be trickier than that. And then you skewer yourself. And you skewer yourself. <laughs> That's the perfect plan. I love that. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. Damn right. She skewers you. You're cute. Thanks. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Just panic. Flee. She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. She has even more blades now. I didn't even realize it the, the other times here. Like, she has 500 blades now. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Oh, yeah. She skewers you. <laughs> We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time, that's all we need. Only one last beer. dark, and you die. No! We were so close, only one more. Oh. Chapter 4. Mutually Assured Destruction. Mutually. Mutually? Honor, don't lose mutually? Yet. We're oh, in a cabin, okay. and we'll take it from here. Oh, okay, we, are, we don't need the narrator anymore, let's go. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Ho oh, ho! What if we throw it out the window? Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. <laughs> Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. Oh god, there's so many no. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. You know, you don't uh, no. There are Not entirely there. too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is Yeah. Oh leave it to the pros. Great, no, I we'll skipped it. Up that win in no time. Okay, hold on. Uh. Mm. Okay, this doesn't help. Okay. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. 
Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Yeah, just shut up, dude. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Well, not our problem. Don't care, just want to win. <laughs> Fine, you make your uh. way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. Mm hmm I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Yes. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Do do do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, D do you want me to talk now? Actually, no, shut up. Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. And we all know new is always better. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, oh, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. That is new indeed. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Uh huh. Are you ready for what comes next? I'm not sure, but I'm into it. Okay, Let, let's try. Holy shit! <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely divine. <laughs> yes, behold the perfect woman. <laughs> Do you think we can throw her out the window? Oh, God. That looked painful. <laughs> How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. Oh my god. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. Mood. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. <laughs> this all right, is this is this is okay, I'm gonna empty my mind now. What just happened? It's so quiet. Him too. <laughs> oh Something god. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Eh, you'll be fine. You do not act. And yet through that in inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes you as you approach. But as her blow finishes its arc, you are, al you are already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. These voices are all me. <laughs> There's only the dance. The ebb and flow. The shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound and the faster the momentum volleys back between you. An endlessly building crescendo and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you will fear what's to come. This is a good ending. Living Swiss Army Knife, army knife basically? Except it's all knives. And not, you know, handy tools. <laughs> there we go. We won. You do not get to see each other die. Nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. You do so. Gaze into the reflection. 
Silence as you reach toward the glass. It is time for you to see what is in it. You are withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. It's approach her. This is going to be the cosmic horror side of things. I am the growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us is always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me. But it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Mm. I have no opinion one way or another in the matter. Eh. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm, uh, as I'm near to you. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. What do you think of this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. I'm still planning to kill you once we're done with this. If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. I will regret destroying you, if that is what we come to. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Uh, how many more vessels do I need? We will know when we near our destination. Yeah, that's what she said all Okay, let's go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, back to chapter one. The sharp vessel bring the razor full to her. Was You're the on a path. Okay. Uh. Actually, let me see. I'm talking about the end of. Okay, this is the same thing. Okay, let's just go to the cabin. Okay, Good. so let's go. As long as you remain. Lego. The interior of the cabin is all. Take the blade. You take the blade. Go to the basement. The door to the. Continue the stairs. You're still listening to reason. And step forward. You step forward. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. We're not talking. I'm gonna slay you. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. 
Finish the job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. Okay, there we go. Move to the cabin. A warning. Proceed into the cabin. Take the blade. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Take the blade. You take the blade from the. Get to the basement. The door to the basement. Oh, it's you again. I remember you. Slay the princess. Good. With a singular focus, you launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Look at those legs, though. Oh, damn. Oh, we'll make it count all right. <laughs> You're damn right, voice of the stubborn. <laughs> you can oh, feel geez. your flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum. Your weapon tightly locked. Have we actually had this one before? Okay. Uh, Unlodge the blade and attack her from the different angle. You pull back on the blade's hilt, doing your best to free it from its sinewed prison. But as you tug the blade free, the princess slams you down onto her knee. It collides with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. And you find yourself in midair, effortlessly tossed across the room. Uh huh. Oh, hello indeed. You hit the floor. Your ribs complaining painfully, but you can feel the hilt in your grip. You still have your weapon. You push yourself off the ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. But you have little room to maneuver. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation, each impact threatening to be the last. This weak little dance isn't working. Just toughen up and overpower her. She's throwing us around like a ragdoll. I think overpowering her is a little out of the question. Eh. Did you think you could stop me with a few cuts? All this dancing around is doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place. And I own you. Oh, are, are we in prison now? Okay. The princess's oh, arm okay. shoots forward, Ouch. her palm wrapping around your head, fingers gripping your skull. How disappointing. She squeezes. Ugh. Pressure unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull and the sickening churn of what was your grey matter. Everything goes dark and you die. That was one way to die. Damn. The eye of the needle. You're on a path in the wood. If you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. We died because you didn't have enough of it. So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? Mm -hmm. No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room if we're going to survive. Are you suggesting luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. Mm -hmm. Then what is going on? What's going on is that you'd only be saying the things you've been saying if you'd already been here. And if you'd already seen things you weren't supposed to have seen. It doesn't matter. We could go in circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin. See this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. So we are a weird looking monster boy and you keep going into a basement to get killed. Yeah. In this path, yeah, exactly. Yep, you can also be the monster boy who gets to smooch the girl, yes. I ruined it at the end on our normal playthrough on the, on the, on the YouTube spot, yeah. If you want to see our good path, uh, it's to be found there. Um, yeah, you, you, you are able to get, get the smooches, but yeah, I ruined it, so. 
You know, it would be better if you just bought it yourself and played it. <laughs> and smooched it yourself, because I, I, I ruined it because I'm an idiot. So, yeah. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other. And I don't trust you. Well, fortunately, you have an entire trip through the woods to reconsider that. There's nothing to reconsider. We're all for violence here. Yeah, we're all for violence here. That's all we all we have been doing. Are we? I haven't signed off on anything yet. Oh, shut up. Violence is the answer here, but the method is equally important to the act. You can't let her leave the cabin. So, yeah, there, there's different paths uh, you can get. Like, you can keep stabbing her, you can uh, keep, you know, talking with her, and, you know... It always ends up being like you, you you're trying to collect personalities or whatever for the entity, and then you know at the end the entity will do whatever that kind of thing. If I'm living in a cosmic horror world, I don't think I'd be too interested in smooching. Oh boy, I think this is the only thing that you know. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I have played Sucker for Love, so talking about has there been updated? release date for the second one i don't think so anyhow <laughs> it's like i said all just circles instinct tells me we need space and i trust instinct nothing else to say not for me obviously i'm talking about uh, uh you know yeah uh, whatever i i don't know where i wanted to go with that uh We haven't talked enough about how different this place is. I wouldn't even call these woods. It's like her influence has powered out into the world. It's evidence of one of many ticking clocks. You can't let her spread any further. Things are always changing. She changed, the cabin changed, we've changed. Why wouldn't the woods change too? Because they're not supposed to have changed. This is supposed to be a path in the woods. If it's not, it means something's gone horribly wrong. Okay, well... Uh, what if we, I don't agree with the plan? What if I'd rather do something else? You're the chooser. The best we can do is advise. But we can help if you let us. These are just powerless thoughts and opinions. You don't need to let them drag you and the world to ruin. Okay. Yep, let's just go. We can help if you let us. Find yourself at the end of the path, <laughs> staring up the hill at the cabin. Uh. I hope you've given serious thought to your predicament. No last advice for us. No words of warning. I like how this all changed. This is so awesome. From what I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. I could use a little catharsis. Catharsis is for when we're finished. For now, we need to hold it out in front of us. Something to chase. Let's go. The interior of the cabin is suffocatingly tight. More of a glorified tunnel than a building. Its stone walls squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice but to press forward. The only furniture of note is an iron altar jutting out from the wall. A pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. See? We have even less space than before. We need space or she'll kill us. And the only space is out there. I don't care, I wanna stab. Take it. We're gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. There's no overcoming her without it. We need every part of us to survive, and that steel claw is as much a part of us as any. Mm, yeah, the whole mirror thing I don't care about anymore. The door this has been, has been a dead end for like 500 hours. <laughs> as if you don't see it. You do see it, right? All we see is a damned mirror. It's a bit grimy. Why don't we wipe it clean? I'm gonna smash it. You bring your fist Let's crashing go. down against the door leading to the basement. <laughs> it swings open, scraping against the floor as it reveals the dim path ahead. Fucking mirror. Before you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face. Oh damn. 
There are enough footholds that you'll be able to clamber your way to the bottom, but it will require care. That's rough. Effort. The air hissing up from below is warm and wet, like the breath of an enemy locked in close quarters. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, bold and fierce and impatient, echoes from the chamber below. Do you have more fight in you than last time? That was such a disappointing show. I know you can do better than that. See? She's very supportive. She is very smoochable. Go to her. <laughs> Rile her up. If she's angry, she'll make mistakes. Hmm. If you want a fight, then how about you come and get one? That's not how this works. I'm all chained up, remember? How about you come down here and fight me? Hmm. We'll need to show ourselves. Make her boil over and forget her metal bindings. Fine by me. Okay. You've nowhere to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. But soon, there is solid ground beneath you. Remember every crack and crevice will need to be faster than her. Oh boy. You turn to face oh, what hi. lies at the end of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Oh boy. Ooh. Her face widens into a broad grin. Hey, no. There you are, knife in hand. How thrilling! Attack me, bleed me, twist the blade in my flesh, break your bones against my body. I want a real challenge this time. We can't get that close. She'll kill us in the tight space, steel claw or not. Welcome back. Make her come to us, stand beyond her chains, and let her become frenzied. She'll break them. Then we run. I really don't like the sound of this. Mm. It's the only way we live. Well, what are you waiting for? If we're gonna do this right, you can't be scared. You need to want this as much as I do. So go on. Make the first move. Don't keep me waiting. Mm. If you want a good fight, if you really want to see me at my best, we need somewhere with more space. The princess scoffs. Oh, you're up to something tricky, aren't you? You're teasing me with what I want, but I'm sick of waiting. I'm not going to let you give me another bad fight. I'm going to get what I want. Bloody desire in her eyes, the princess rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. Run. It was fast. Okay. Without hesitation, you turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards the tunnel entrance. As you near the top, hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. The princess is right on your heels. She doesn't bother to scale the wall as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabbit pursuit. Now that's nice. Fuck them all. <laughs> All my homies hate them all. Anywhere you go, I will follow. Good. You reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel, the cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this for? What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Little bird, little bird, where do you think you're going? Oh boy. We're almost there. Don't think about almost. We're there when we're there. And we'll take the fight with us. Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as you burst through the cabin door and roll onto the grass. Mm-hmm. You glance back at the cabin as the princess, singular in her desire to destroy you, explodes through the doorway. You are walking a dangerous path. If you waver once, oh it's all over. So get it right. Yeah, I won't get it right. There's nothing left to slow me down. Do you think this is better for you? Do you think this space gives you an edge? Then show me. Show me that you've been worth all the room you've taken up in my head. Hey, nice jewels. 
Congrats, happy mount farming, uh, or happy pet farming, I guess. Do it! Be swift, strike true, be where she's not, let your body move you. You activated my trap card. Slay the princess! You leap from the grass and bound towards the princess, keeping low. Charging me head on, brave and foolish. Her body braces for impact, anticipating the clash. That's where you're both wrong. Left, now! As the princess strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends, stumbling as her balance shifts unexpectedly. And breaks her neck. <laughs> Strike. Before you can finish the thought, you lash out, the blade slicing through her leg. She turns to swing again. Right. You move out of the way, but this time it's not quite as clean. You can feel a bruise already blooming where her elbow crashed into flesh. It's nothing. A scratch. Yes, it could be worse. And you managed to gift her another cut in return. I'll be damned. We're actually going to pull this off, aren't we? Nope. You just might. But don't let it get to your head. Not until it's over. Yes, finally! This is the hole I felt in my heart! This is what I've needed! This is what I've been missing! This is how it always needed to end! Both of us giving it our all, beating and bleeding each other to death! The two of you engage in a devastating flurry of blows, each of you wounding the other again and again. She's stronger, but you're faster, and the deeper the both of you fall into your lethal dance, the more your edge shines over hers. She's slowing down, blood pouring from wounds, splattering at her feet, leaving her weak and unsteady. Yeah, she is. She is Jules. More! Keep going! We can't stop now! Can't stop me now. You spy an opening, but this time she's waiting for you. She lets you sink the blade deep, trapping you in place long enough to wrap you in her impenetrable arms. You're slammed to the ground. Nothing! These blows are nothing to us! But her gambit wasn't enough to close the gap. It wasn't enough to kill you. She stares you down, coughing up a splash of blood as she gasps for breath. <sighs> You've outplayed me, haven't you? Something feels wrong. Something. Oh. And? Oh. Okay, we got another one for the collection. Let's go. Achievement unlocked. Lure an enemy to advantage, advantage, advantageous terrain. Damn, that's a word and a half. Okay, and win. Okay. So, we activated the trap card, we won and got an achievement. Easy. But you do not have the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It is time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Let's go to the mirror. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what is in it. You've unraveled. You find yourself in the long fight once again. Let's talk to the entity again. Hello. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are frail and impermanent. You and I are the only things that interest me. Do you think uh, that anything is real out there? Do you think that we are real? We are real. Nothing. We had that. We have thoughts on this vessel. This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now I feel a will pushing against mine. Not realizing that we are one, she will make for a fierce heart. Do not mourn her. 
We will provide her with the growth she fought for. Okay. When you sent me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty. Existent. We had that before. Okay. Uh... He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. If he is anything other than us, he isn't worth the effort to destroy. Oh damn, okay. One. Oh, one more vessel to go. Next will be enough. Okay. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Okay, so we need one more playthrough. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm doing an exception of our rule today. Okay? You all know that usually we make a, we do a 3 to 5 minute break every hour. We are already late to that, so we're just going to continue, finish this one off and then call it a day. Sounds like a plan? I feel like this sounds like a plan. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Full throttle, no brakes. I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh. This always fucking startles me. I need that sound effect of that glass shatter. Just for the general redemption. This will fucking mess me up. You got your deer? Yes, nice. Congrats. Everything goes dark, and you die. Achievement unlock, bring the eye of the needle to her. So there's an achievement for everything then, okay. Continue to the cabin. You make your way up. Get to the cabin, grab the blade, do some stabby stabs. The interior of You take the blade from to the basement. The door to the Continue down the stairs. Still listening to reason. You step forward. Not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Slay the princess. Doubt, unfortunately. Okay. This is probably what you meant, right? With uh, keeping her in the basement. So yeah, we didn't do. We gave up. We finished the job, but we didn't flee and lock her in the basement yet. So let's go. Are you serious? It's a good idea. We've taken some bad hits, but we've dealt some too. She has to be feeling it more than we are. Let's regroup upstairs. If we're lucky, maybe she'll just bleed out. Fine. You make a mad dash to the basement stairs. The princess's chains rattling as she tries to chase you, but pulling taut much too soon for her to catch up. Wait, wasn't there, like, didn't the narrator make us turn and then attack her? Wasn't that a thing in our first playthrough, when we tried to not do whatever? <laughs> do you really think you can just walk out of here? Yes. She steps towards you, ignoring her chains. They creak and strain oh, as she pulls against them until finally they break. The links clatter to the floor. Well, useless. Uh, She's free. Hurry. Run. You push your broken body as she closes in and just barely manage to pass the threshold of the basement doorway before she catches up to you. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. That's not gonna help you, dude. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. I did just went all over your keyboard. Oh no. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Oh boy. Don't open the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make the 
things easier on yourself and let me out. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. You have a lot of good sides, so... She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. Oh boy. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. It's fine. No, it doesn't. It's fine. We're fine. Hmm, okay. I kind of want to just go to sleep, but I want interaction, so... Mm. Whatever you are, you're not a princess. Go ahead and waste your energy. I'll be waiting for you. I want to be so sure about outlasting me. You're so brittle. So go ahead, rest, do whatever you think will help you be prepared. But know that I'm coming for you, and that when I find you, I will make you hurt. Oh boy. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can, and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. That's unfortunate. Also, it's really funny that the door goes, um, opens to the inside. So the table didn't do shit. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You're welcome. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Oh boy. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Uh-huh. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? Oh boy. She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? I love this so much. This game is so good. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Aww. I didn't even I didn't even get to get to see how. Come on. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Why can I not why wasn't I able to skip that? But I died, what am I doing here? To assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. Oh, shit. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Oh. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> I think you'll find shit. yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from mm. me. 
Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Okay, let's go. A warning. But she will lie. I don't think... It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. T-T-A. Okay, so we, I'm pretty sure the voice of the paranoid is new. This is why I cannot skip the dialogue, but everything the else is the same. The interior of the cabin oh. is plain. The smooth oh. wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. This is the Christine first time, Wade right? stands between you and the open, inviting basement door. Also, um, creepy? Would you not? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? There's a lot of eyes on us. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Mm. Take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It's so weird that for the first time, the cabin is the same in two paths. Good. Like Steel consecutive path, I guess. To us. Is it going to be enough, though? Can you have? Given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Yep. Okay, let's go to the basement. Let's go stand you cross oh, over yeah. the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. That's even more eyes. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Like having fun? Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Yep. Uh, how hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place... I mean, we know it isn't. It'll be enough. Usually. Mm. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Finally, a voice of reason. <laughs> the rest of you should take notes. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I'm just asking questions. Mm -hmm. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. I cannot wait to see what, what's here. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks uh -huh. suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Okay. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. I'm gonna quickly save here. Okay. Are you really not gonna comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Oh my god. 
Oh, you know what? <laughs> I kind of want to go back, but I don't want to go back. Uh, I want to go to the right towards the eyes first. You turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Oh, hi. I told you I was going to find you. It was fast. As the princess approaches, your oh, legs hey. suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This looks different. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Very dolly. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Uh-huh. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Your lungs pull in a lungs. desperate gulp of air liver. as your eyes shoot nerves. back open. Heart. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... Okay, oh, whatever you do, Sorry. please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Liver. Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Liver. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. You're back. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. One moment, lungs, and liver, then you're nerves, gone. Heart, Just lungs, liver, like nerves, that. Heart. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. Mm-hmm. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs. How about I just kill you instead? The princess cocks her head, neck cracking uncomfortably. And you can't help but imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. Thinking about that knife, are we? Put that little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to like what happens. Because even if you make me dead, you are not getting out of here. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. This place is mine. And I'm not giving you the stairs mm. unless I'm leaving with you. Lungs, liver, nerves, okay. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Okay, let's toss the blade. Are you serious? Nerves, heart, lungs, <laughs> you fling the blade into the void, denying yourself the opportunity to ever slay her and finish your mission. God damn it. Nobody's happy here, eh, but. Maybe it's for the best. You poor deluded thing. Do you think a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not? I am what I am. And you're always going to be a coward. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath. 
before it envelops you. That was nice. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out! A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for eighty years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out! A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment, gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Let. Me. Out! No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Oops. I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Your body is dead, but you will live on. Okay. Okay, chapter 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 12, and 15, and 12. The moment of clarity. You're on a path in the... Shit! Shit! What? What oh, the hell was man. that? Who are okay, you? that's Who a lot of to unpack. And I have no idea where to start. Holy shit, okay. Let's let's move on for now. There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. This is so much, holy shit. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. I think we're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. We love her. So we have to set her free. Oh boy. Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? Okay. To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? A lot of times. That's a good question. How many times have you been there? Many, 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 many times. It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. I'm right. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. But that doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before this. And some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. 
Was I here these other times? Did someone else make the decision? What does here even mean, if you really think about it? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them numb, but they're all too soft. A shame, really. Can you make sense of them? There's nothing worth making sense of. They're clearly all traumatized. And yet, you aren't. We break apart, and you stay the same. Yeah, what's your secret? Why can you break the rules when we can't? I mean... Oh. I think they're all wrong. Of course we're wrong. She's the only thing that's right. Yes, obviously they're all wrong. What are you going to do about it? Oh. Let's go to the cabin. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. I have a lot of thoughts, but, but I cannot put them into words right cabin. now. It's so weird. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. He always lies. Yeah, I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> and he always makes it gone. Th th there's a lot of shit happening right now, and I cannot put it to words. Like, it's so Stay weird. Forced. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. <laughs> She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. What's wrong with them with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Yeah, but uh, I'm thinking about more in the lines of uh, the whole um, the, the the princess entity also saying that we are, you know, that they are the same. Like, we and we and the, the entity is the same. So does that mean we and the entity are one, or like, one kind, or whatever, and this is, everything is set up to, you know, do stuff, you know? Sure, the gameplay loop, sure, it's the same happening every time, and it loops every time, sure. With a, sim with a bit of difference in it, but that's also a bit of, you know, it means you're a pretty princess, I mean, sure. Exactly. That they works. Are delusions Even the narrator says exactly. What to them will do <laughs> is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. So yeah, that's a, give up. that's a lot of shit if you just don't think about just, you know, it's just a loop, it's just a game, whatever kind of deal. Let's approach the mirror. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. The yeah. cabin that isn't there. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. She's on the other side. And we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Let's proceed. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. Eh. That's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, 
but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure they're in. Wrong and unsettling as it may be. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, Buzz. Maybe it's just not your kind of jam, that's completely fine. Like, maybe this game would be more yours if there would be gunplay, <laughs> you know? That's, that's not mine at all, so... The only object of it's a whole different a pristine niche. blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Okay, so if we pull it out, she's gonna grab us from beneath the dirt and kill us. Take it. It's the only way forward. Take the blade or you have to take the blade. Excuse me? I mean, you have to take the blade. Let's go with this one. Let, let's let's make it sound like we are we we are forced to do that. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, the ground beneath it shifts. The weapon sinking deep into the earth. Well, that sucks. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep, deep in the bowels of the earth. Oh hi. You see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. It's her. Uh, she's watching us. She never stops watching us. You really are a coward. With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. I was joking when I said that way back when. You know that, right? And closer. I was having some fun. And I guess I wanted to see if I could knock you. And closer. Watching over me forever? That was so brave. And closer. But forever is so, so long. And time erodes everything. Except for me. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. And it's not this way to take my will. And let me out. It'll be so much fun. You and me. Together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. A witness. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. Do something. Mm. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. We're probably being forced to take her hand. Yep. Yep. Okay. You extend your hand to hers, for all her past cruelties, oh, the moment feels gentle, tender even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. Okay. Well, that sucks. <sighs> And that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. You better give me that gilded cage. I didn't think I'd be so... tired. The princess, exhausted, slumps. Why is it so cold? Oh no, no cage for you, for me. God damn it. What a shame. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? It doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally! We can smash it. <laughs> oh, will you stop with the smashing? What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Okay, let's approach. They're all gonna leave again. We step towards the mirror once more. Its secrets remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unsolved. Someone unresolved. tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. The fear's... Gone. Wait, they, they, they are still here. I'm done fighting. My heart 
feels quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. Fair. Boys, it's been an honor. Gaze into the reflection. Silent as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You cannot be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in the shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Okay, we had all of this before. We, 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 we had all the questions and stuff. So... A construct. It was supposed to keep the two of you trapped here until the job was done. And it was supposed to guide your hand to help you see things through. The construct you're in exists in every world at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both you and her into a new world. Just watch him die. But you're waking up to your true nature now. It won't be able to work like that anymore. Okay, so you want me to smash the mirror, yeah? Okay. Let's do that then. You have heard enough. You already know what you are. You are the long quiet. A vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There's nothing for you to find. Rude? Hi. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I am the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Stop calling me out like that. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. Hmm. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is it this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. I'd call that passive-aggressive, to be honest. <laughs> if we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Hmm. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked or if all of them would have led to this moment? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what oh, it takes shit. to enlighten She's me, gonna attack now. Then Fuck. so be it. Oh boy. There are a few things. 
things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me, and I am the only thing like you. Yeah, that makes sense. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? You showed me your heart to break me. It was a terrible thing to see. Eh? You know what? Yeah, sure. I am aware of what it did to you, but it is through the pain of vulnerability that we heal. Will you leave all who have been hurt to live unmended? Mm. Brutality splashes you against the walls, but with stubborn defiance you rise again. And with the dance of our conflict, I was brought somewhere new. Without you, my world would have been so small. Do you remember the moment of your triumph? Do you remember the feeling of your blade finally cutting me down? Yeah, that was like 10 minutes ago. My defeat was a gift. Without obstacles to overcome, we stagnate into nothing. I fought you to protect others, not to better myself. And yet you changed regardless. Your perspective widened. A boundless torrent of blades cuts you from boundless angles. Damn. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts or not you. Alive, dead. Alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead, and alive and dead, all at once! You learn to put yourself away and to follow the flow of reality. And you used it to rise above me. That's true. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. It felt so good to finally win, even if it, if it was going to cost me my life. And it was a joy for me to finally face my end. Even when I thought I had reached mm. an unconquerable peak, you showed me how much further I could still climb. Ignore your confused axe and dive into the pile of ladies like a true swamp monster of culture. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> they are all one, you know? Mm.
It didn't give me much choice. And yet still you chose. To be capable of change is to be capable of choice. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? A person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that feel it. Mm. I am not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. And yet bodies change, and consciousness goes on. The infant's body is not the child's, is not the adult's. But the thread of existence remains strung through it all. She's telling you that you got bodies in two dozen languages. Yeah, basically. <laughs> As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake. Your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. You are cruelty itself, and I cannot let you exist. Even now you think you can destroy me. If it takes all of eternity to break your delusion, I will still break it. You don't have to face her alone. Oh damn. Which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. Okay. I thought voices weren't allowed here. Apparently that's not true, but we can worry about it later. You'll never be able to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? I am ready. Then let's go. Oh damn, that's very basic. Going all the way back. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? Take the blade. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. You're gonna stab everyone. Stabby stab. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are, knife in hand. That sight brings me back. You're going to do it then, aren't you? You're really going to kill me. Kevin's sword door mirror stairs, confused ex-girlfriend in bondage, more confusion, death monologues repeat. Profit? I mean, the devs definitely made a profit, so... <laughs> You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Slay the princess. So this is it, then. Let's see this through. So, that's how it is. Yes. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. It won't. Despite our differences, I've 
always loved you, and I wish you nothing but the best. And don't make me, me don't, don't make me feel feels. That's not gonna happen. You blink, and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small, melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged, and left each of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. That's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> but okay. No, she's not. Then we did what we set out to do. Come on, let's get going. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's leave the cabin. You leave the basement behind. Then the stairs. And then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. The path and the woods outside are an empty canvas. But there's even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor. A world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. And you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite place. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the unyielding tension gives way. And then the shattering. You are free. And before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality. One forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. We really did win, didn't we? We're the house now. We get to make the rules. This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Absolute reality. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? The whispering, and the coercion, and the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. Well, boys, how does it feel? We're not just on top of the pecking order. We are the pecking order now. I hope this was all worth it. Because I'm personally inconsolable. Aww. Lucky for us, you have forever to get over it. Time mends a lot of things. You'll get better. Here, here. To our vanquished foe. It's good to be back. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We can do that, yeah? Yeah. We can do that. Okay, Tony. We just exterminated her. <laughs> Thank you. Achievement unlocked. Uh, slay the princess. Yeah. That was the slay stabby step ending. We are alone forever as part of an entity. So, oof. I like the other one a bit better, even though I ruined it. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. Uh, but yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful game. And I, I think I said most of it already. Um, 
Hey, get small I know her. <laughs> I think I said that the same the same time last time. Thank you so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Return to menu. So yeah. I think I said most of my thoughts are on the other ending already. But overall, wonderful game. I love visual novels. Um, even though, you know, I understand it's not everyone's thing. But I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, it makes me think about a lot of stuff. And um, this will probably um, be on my list to be played on my own time. To find other new, other princesses. And, you know, I don't know if I will 100% it. But, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Wonderful game. If you are into visual novels, play it yourself. 